really love this experience because this is one once in a lifetime experience and also having the citizenship here in Norway is not just about having the passport or this type of citizenship if you are a citizen here in Norway you must also follow the rules and you must be a productive part of their community and their society <laughs> channel i am donita your pinay teacher in norway and i am sharing my experiences and life here in norway and in this video i will share with you my experience about stop burger cup ceremony or norwegian citizenship ceremony and also i will give you important information and updates regarding the requirements that you the i change this year and also i will answer some of the questions regarding on how to have a citizenship here in norway so in my previous vlog about that i've received a lot of questions and thank you so much for those people who already watch my video so this video is for all of you so the very first thing that i will share with you is the changes about the requirements so the thing that udi change this year is about the norwegian language proficiency uh, level so if you are a2 level and below you cannot have or acquire the citizenship but if you are b1 or B and Nibo, B1 level, you can apply to have a citizen here in Norway. So last October 1, 2022, they already changed the requirements about the Norwegian language proficiency level. Okay, so please be reminded about that and also keep in keep it in mind that the UDI always change their requirements so you better check it on the udi website itself i will just put the link below and i will show you where you can find the udi or ude website and now regarding the questions that some of you asking me uh, for example how long does it take the, for me to receive my passport after applying on the police or polity here in norway so it takes around uh, five to seven days ayan um so i waited around one week for me to receive my passport norwegian passport and also i received a question regarding what can you pass or what kind of requirements should you uh, get for you to apply the citizenship if you are a student so in my case when i am applying uh, Norwegian citizenship the first uh, half of the year I am working in a elementary school and then on the last uh, part or the last half of the year so from August to December I've already started a course in the university so the UDA told me that uh, I should wait for me to finish the one year course uh, for me to apply as a citizen uh, with the salary or with the income from my uh, student loan so uh, if you are a student here you receive a student loan from Donekase and then you just have to send them the document that stated that you've taken this kind of course and then you accumulated 60 study points and then you have received uh, this uh, loan uh, this student loan or an income as a student for you to support yourself because one important requirement for you to have your uh, citizenship in Norway is for you to support yourself financially and also you stayed for example seven years here in Norway but if you are married to a Norwegian so it will be times two I will just post it with the explanation and example on how you can compute your stay here in Norway 
so if you are wondering what are those important requirements i've already mentioned it in one of my blogs how to have your citizenship here in norway so just watch it and i will just put the link on the top of here and also on the link on my description box and another questions that i frequently receive is uh, what are the things that you can do in order for you to move here in norway so this will be a quick explanation on what are things that you can do in order for you to move here in norway the first one is if you are a student you can have your student visa so you can uh, study here in norway for two years and then if you a if you are a skilled worker so you can apply to have a work here in norway or family immigration if you have a family who is living here in norway you can move here in norway and the fourth one is if you are an au pair or an au pair so you will have a host family that you can live in so if you are 29 years old and below you can apply for that uh, it uh, it means that uh, you want to learn about the culture uh, culture exchange experience for you to move here in norway so i will just put all the links that you need for you to know on how to move here in Norway I also have a blog about it I will just put a link on the description box below and lastly I will share with you the short uh, ceremony that I've attended today so we started around 1 o'clock in the afternoon and then we finished at uh, around 2 30 and then we eat some cakes on the end of that ceremony and uh, we've received uh, this kind of book uh, welcome to me so i think this book is very helpful especially if you are a new citizen here in norway because it has the norway history the democracy about norway rights and then about the citizenship and also on that uh, on that ceremony we read this through skaflokte i can read this with all of you som norsk i statborger lover jeg troskap til mitt land norge og det norske samfunnet og jeg støtter demokratiet og menneskerettighetene og vil respektere landets lover it means that uh as a Norwegian citizen, I promise that I will be loyal to my country and to the Norwegian society and also to uh, stötte, uh, to support the democracy and uh, equal human rights and respect the country's laws. So that is my uh, short translation about that through Skaflofte. And uh, also we sing the song, uh, the national anthem of Norwegian. And that's it. We also received some token from our ord voter or the leader of the municipality that we're living. And that's it. Uh, I really love this experience because this is one once in a lifetime experience and also having the citizenship here in norway is not just about having the passport or this type of citizenship if you are a citizen here in norway you must also follow the rules and you must be a productive part of their community and their society and that's it thank you so much for watching i hope that you learned a lot of things about this video and also if you're wondering what uh, what is this uh, dress that i'm wearing so this is bunad i already wear this uh, dress before this is a national dress of norway so it comes in different variation depending on what county you are living and uh, that's it i feel that i am all already a norwegian citizen 
<laughs> when I'm wearing this kind of dress. <laughs> That's all. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, share this video to your friends and families who want to know more about Norway. If you have further questions, just feel free to comment down below. Thank you for watching. Bye! Thank you.